Look, everyone has a right to their own opinion. But what the f I'm baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. This is Eric, and today we're going to check out some Hall of Fame ballots. This is a really cool time every year after the ballot comes out when certain voters start making them public. We can check them out. We can get an idea of what's going on, and usually we'll look at these ballots and be like, what the hell? That makes no sense. Now, obviously, everyone has a right to their own opinion. We're not all going to agree on everything. Somebody may say... I don't know, Omar Vizquel is a Hall of Famer. Someone else may say, no, he's not. That's fine. Someone may say, well, Barry Bonds should get in because he was clearly a Hall of Famer before he did steroids and he's one of the best players of all time. Someone else might say, nope, no one who did steroids will get in. And hey, that's their own individual opinions. And I respect that. If you say you don't think steroid guys should get in, well, then you should be consistent on that. But not everyone is. And we're about to look at some of these crazy ballots. I'm here at Not Mr. Tibbs on Twitter, and he tracks all the Hall of Fame ballots that go public. So it's a really good page to check out and follow if you want to just be able to have, have one source that you can quickly check out all the ballots. And we're about to do that today. So let's scroll all the way down to ballot number one. This is from Jack McCaffrey. And right away, things get weird because this is a guy who had Kurt Schilling on his ballot every year. Oops, lost it. This guy had Kurt Schilling on his ballot every year. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this year, on Schilling's last year, he's left off. And this is coming after Kurt Schilling was pissed off last year, like, take me off the ballot. Our other voters also going to leave Kurt Schilling off, who's been on. Kurt Schilling needed a little more support, not less support. So he's in trouble here. Now, this is a guy who doesn't vote for steroid guys. You can see Bonds, not voted for. Clemens, not voted for. Manny, not voted for. A-Rod, not voted for. Okay, at least he's consistent in that. I can't say the same for every voter. He does have Vizquel getting in. He has Rollins getting in. Rollins, Jimmy Rollins, okay. Okay. Uh, interesting, though. That's just crazy. You have Omar Vizquel and Jimmy Rollins, but not A-Rod, but for obvious reasons. But not Scott Rowland either. Kind of weird. David Ortiz, no. So he's consistent even there. You can't not vote for the steroid guys, but vote for David Ortiz, a guy who actually failed a steroid test at some point, even though I don't even believe that he was doing steroids the majority of his career. Maybe he was tried something out earlier in his career, and that's why he got popped there for that test that wasn't even supposed to be public. I'm not saying I, I'm going to vote for David Ortiz. You're going to see when, I'm, when I make my ballot, my pretend ballot public, because I don't really have a vote. But uh, moving on here, Todd Helton, he's got going in. Ryan Howard in. Isn't that interesting? Ryan Howard. Ryan Howard, who had, you know, was awesome for, for a period of time there in the mid-2000s uh, to the late 2000s. But, yeah, that's just insane that he's got Ryan Howard in look this isn't even the worst ballot i'm going to show you guys but it's just something it's the first one that's public and already it's questionable why the hell you take off the guy that you've had in who's clearly in my opinion a hall of famer in kurt schilling when you've been voting for him i don't understand that ballot number two from lynn henning a rod gets his first vote joining henning's five holdovers so let's take a gander at this baby right here and you see that this guy off the bat, okay, Bonds Clemens, gotta love it. He's also voting for Todd Helton. This first column here, I, I'm in complete agreement with this column right here. Bonds, Clemens, Helton, hell yes. But then no Jones. So screw Andrew Jones, screw Jeff Kent, got you. Uh, which is okay, that's his opinion. This, these are. I, I think Andrew Jones, I, I don't understand anyone not voting for Jones. That's me, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, he hasn't gotten in yet, so clearly I'm in the minority thinking that Jones is definitely a Hall of Famer for some reason. But uh, no, da no David Ortiz. No David Ortiz. Which is interesting. you got Bonds, Clemens, but no Ortiz. Not sure I, I completely get that. But I'm okay with it because you got Bonds and Clemens. Ortiz is getting in eventually. Ortiz is getting in, so let's move on. Uh, no Pettit. Interesting there. Moving over here, no Manny. But he does have A-Rod. So he's got A-Rod, Bonds, and Clemens. Probably the three, you know, ultimate players, you know, of, of the steroid-connected guys on this ballot. Uh, Scott Rowland. He's got Scott Rowland. Schilling. Okay. Scott Rowland and Schilling. One, two, three, four, five, six. He had room for four more guys. 
decided not to vote. Didn't even vote for Sosa, but, you know, that, that's understandable. Um, but, uh, yeah, no Billy Wagner, so screw Billy Wagner. Got it. Uh, so Lynn Henning, and as you can see, I'm, I'm a little more of a Hall of Fame voter. Some people want a tiny hall. They want only the ultimate, only the Babe Ruths and the Mickey Mantles. Okay, you can have that opinion. I personally think that that's not how the Hall of Fame has ever been from the beginning. Hall of Fame used to be even more flexible. More guys would get in. But uh, nowadays, there are certain guys who think it should be like the hall of the absolute elite 0.001%. Like, that's not necessarily what the hall is. So for me, a lot of these guys should get in. Andrew Jones, Jeff Kent. But, hey, that's his ballot. This is not the worst at all. It's a decent ballot, I guess. What, let me know what you guys think. But we're going to get to some crazy ones. We're going to get to some crazy ones. Ballot number three. Check out this piece of shit right here. First of all. Shout out to Sadi Lebron for making this thing public. You got guts for showing people this crap. What the hell is this? Make it a little bigger so we can take a look at it here. And you can see right off the bat, Bobby Abreu is in. I don't have a massive issue with that in isolation. Okay, Bobby Abreu is in. Barry Bonds not in. Okay, so this guy's not a, not a steroid guy. Too bad. He, he does. He's not a steroid guy. Uh, Roger Clemens, of course, not in. Roger Clemens is in. What the f***? Roger Clemens is in. Barry Bonds is not in. Already, what the hell? Let's move on. Carl Crawford, Prince Fielder, of course not. Todd Helton in. Okay, I agree with Todd Helton. Okay, Howard Hudson, Hunter, no. Andrew Jones is in. Genuinely, shout out to you for putting Andrew Jones in. Because Andrew Jones is a Hall of Famer. David Ortiz in. Wait a second. No Barry Bonds. Maybe you just don't like offensive players. Maybe you just like pitchers, so you put Clemens in. Nope, that's not the case. David Ortiz in. No Bonds, but you got Clemens and Ortiz. Wait a second. What about Manny Ramirez? Surely not. The dude failed steroid test. No, he's in. What? What? Okay, so if you got Manny Ramirez in... You definitely got A-Rod in. Because you got Manny Ramirez in. You got Ortiz in. You got Clemens in. Yeah, obviously A-Rod's in. Nope. No A-Rod. Instead, we got Scott Rowland, who I who I think it, you know is a Hall of Famer if I have room on my ballot. The only reason I wouldn't vote for, for Rowland, which I put him on my pretend ballot last year, this year we'll see because there's so many other guys because nobody gets in that I'm going to have to leave some guys off. You only get 10 names. Uh, that being said, how the hell do you vote Scott Rowland? But not A Rod, but yes, Manny, and yes, Roger Clemens. What the hell is this ballot? What the hell is this ballot? By the way, and here's the here's here's the icing on the cake for this ballot. Sammy Sosa in. Once again, in isolation, I have no problem with someone voting for Sammy Sosa. How do you leave Barry Bonds off of the ballot, but you vote for Sosa? Manny. Roger Clemens, David Ortiz, and not Bonds, and not A-Rod. This makes no sense. Yes, you have a right to your opinion, but this opinion is, this is, just makes no, I'm, I'm sorry. You have to have some, some, some tiny bit of logic in your ballot to be able to explain yourself. I guess you don't have to explain yourself. You say, this is my ballot. Well, sure. By that by that logic, you can vote for freaking Tory Hunter, Tim Lincecum, Joe Nathan, Jonathan Papelbon, Mark Teixeira, and Mark Burley and throw it in there if you want. And uh, you're not questioned. I I'm not a cancel guy. Like, this guy needs to lose his vote. But this mother effer needs to lose his vote. I'm just kind of joking, but I just don't understand that. Someone explain to me, how do you not vote for Bonds but you vote for Clemens and Manny and Sosa. And how, And by the way, how do you not vote for A-Rod in that case? I know we failed a, st a steroid test. Guess who did also failed steroid test? Because you can't even go, oh, he's just voting for guys who, uh, he's not voting for guys who fail a steroid test. But that's clearly not the case because Roger Clemens, and, uh, Barry Bonds never failed a steroid test. And Manny Ramirez did fail a steroid test that he's in. So this, this, this ballot makes no sense whatsoever. Shout out to this guy for making it public. You have some guts, Sadi Le Lebron. Uh, you got some freaking cojones, man, to make this thing public because you are absolutely off your rocker, bro. Are you just trying to get attention or what? Because you got it, okay? Don't know what you're trying to prove, but you proved it. Ballot number four is from Joe Cowley. 
Checking out this Joe Cowley one here. Nice looking ballot here. The check marks here. Got Bonds in. Love it. Got Clemens in. Okay. Love it. Todd Helton. Again, this first column, I'm with you. And here we have Jones. No Kent. But notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He used his 10. So I have to respect that you didn't vote for Kent because you used up your other 10. As long as your guys are, you know, Hall of Famers, I'm good with it. David Ortiz, beautiful. A-Rod, okay, no Manny, but he did go A-Rod. Scott Rowland, Kurt Schilling, definitely. Gary Sheffield. Gary Sheffield. He went with Sheffield instead of Manny. Okay, I can respect this. No Sosa, though. A little interesting. A little interesting, but, you know, it's it's not an easy decision. It's not an easy decision. I, I'm flexible. I mean, he may not – this is not going to be my ballot, but Omar Vizquel, no Billy Wagner. But he used his 10 up the best he could, and, and this is a ballot I can respect. But now ballot number five, Steve Marcus. I think he forgot his pin, guys. I think he forgot his pin. Um – if you can't afford a pin, you know, you shouldn't have a vote. If you can't afford a pin, you shouldn't have a vote. But uh, this one, I personally think is kind of embarrassing, but it's not the worst ballot I've talked about today, to be honest, because at least he's saying, hey, nobody. This is a small ballot, small Hall of Famer guy, clearly. He only votes for the Babe Ruths of the world and the Mickey Mantles of the world. He did vote back in the day uh, uh, for uh, Derek Jeter. Okay, I'm sure he's voted for Greg Maddox. You know, if he had a vote back then, I'm not going to dig into his, his vote history, but I'm going to assume he only votes for those absolute cream of the mother effing crop. That must be this guy's style. And there are some cream of the crop guys on here, but they're steroid guys. So he's not going to vote for Bond, steroid guy. He's not going to vote for Clemens, steroid guy. Any other cream of the crops? Todd Helton, he's up there, but I guess maybe not absolute cream of the crop. Andrew Jones, jeez, man, with all his, his his gold gloves. And, you know, ah, it sucks, man, that no one gives him more support. He won't even vote for Ortiz. No A-Rod because the steroids. No Ortiz because the failed test, I, I assume. No shilling. It's, it's embarrassing. It's an embarrassment. But somehow this is not even the worst ballot we talked about because good old uh, back with the guy that didn't even vote for, that didn't vote for Bonds while he voted for all the other or A Rod voting for everyone else, including Sammy Zoso. What the hell is that? But okay, Steve Marcus votes for nobody. Okay, send this man a pin. Okay, so there you have it, and we have the ultimate winner behind me. The winner for today's horrific ballot of the day is not even the blank ballot. It's my man here behind me who didn't vote for Bonds, but said yes to Clemens, yes to Ortiz, yes to Manny, yes to Sosa, but no to Barry Bonds. And by the way, no to A-Rod. Screw you, A-Rod. I think he just doesn't like A-Rod and Barry Bonds. You know, uh, not the nicest people, I guess, even though A-Rod comes across as like really nice and sophisticated, but maybe he's a little bit psychopath, you know, underneath. I'm not really sure. But anyway, you guys have a great day. Let me know what you guys think of these ballots. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and I can do a part two when we get uh, four or five more ballots go public. Have a great day. We will talk to you next time. See ya! When the giants come to town